All right, so we're ready to go. Restart. And now in my current system, I need to press F12 in order to enter the boot menu. So once here, so F12 to enter the boot menu. And here I want to boot from the diskette drive. And here I have a list of options. Um, here we just click default. And this would load the exact version of, of our tiny core Linux that we need to create our own version. So here it prints like those packages that has been involved. And uh, we're going to be partially reusing these packages. So um, I'm sort of just take my notes from below the camera. All right. And yeah, we got our tiny core Linux. So let me just let me adjust this a little bit. Yeah. All right. So here I have some packages right over in here that is supposed to be now downloading. Okay, but the very first thing uh, we need to connect to Wi-Fi. So here is the nice app. So it prints like it scans for available networks. Um, and I'm gonna be using this first one which i hopefully would manage to connect yes only this center works and the password is like this and here we go so connecting to the wi-fi i really hope uh does the trick for otherwise yeah it's just not gonna be working yeah uh probably probably this to make sure uh, now we can go to apps. Uh, yeah, it picks up the mirror. Uh, we're not going to be downloading things from here. Uh, we're going to be doing this a little bit different way. But just to make sure that the connection is, is actually fine. So I say app, cloud, browse. Yes, and indeed we have uh, all, this, all these things that we actually need. So far, so good. Now, uh, the next essential thing, uh, we need to go to the mount tool. And I want to connect SDE2. So in my case, SDE2 is the exact place where uh, I can reference this original, um, original sort of ISO 16 uh, 16 megabytes ISO that that, that is required for uh, building uh, the image on top of. And now I go to this Easy Remaster. Uh, here I want to use the ISO image. So you can also build on top of what you, what you, what you, what you currently built from, but I want this custom image. And here I go to mount, go to mount SDA2, and this is my hard drive. So from here I go to home, CMK, and desktop. And here I have this core current, which is the 16 megabytes one we're supposed to be building on top. So this, this is quite essential. All right, here I click OK and next. Now this part is, is really important. So boot codes uh, are specific options that you can specify uh, when the tiny core boots. And uh, if you want to have the persistent home directory, uh, this, this is essential to, to add some proper things here. Uh, well, I will, now, uh, I will now bring in some basic boot codes um, but you can, uh, it's not that really, really that irreversible. So you can change them at boot time and probably you can even change them like permanently if you, uh, it will probably, won't allow you to do from, from under the tiny core itself because it mounts in read only mode. But I think if you unmount and mount this back in read write mode, then it would be possible. If not, you can do this on your, uh, main system. If you just, uh, plug in the USB flash drive and then you can just uh, edit the SysLinux uh, configuration file. So uh, let me just have a look at my notes here. So boot codes. Uh, yeah, so the very first uh, and essential thing to consider. We need to say wait USB and let's consider five seconds. So say wait USB five seconds. If you don't if you don't wait this, if you don't do this wait USB, uh, it would fail to load uh, the persistent home directory from the USB flash drive. 
The next then, uh, the actual home directory is going to be equal to, and I only need to specify the SDB, which is uh, the block device where uh, like represents my USB flash drive. I just know that this is SDB in my case, so uh, I can do this like print SDB here. Okay, what else? Uh, yeah, and by the way, uh, from from this from the notes from the core book and from the forums. So if you specify uh, the location, like uh, so, so this is SDB. So it would be like saying like mount SDB home and tiny core user folder here. So this is the the path that would eventually try to mount. Uh, your home directory. All right, then the next thing to consider, um, I want to say uh, show apps, show show apps because uh, what modules are being uh, are being loaded. And in case if we do use or do not use the home directory, the persistent home directory, uh, it's the the way how it uploads, uh, how it initializes the packages is way different. But anyways, this is useful feature and uh, we can also set the custom host and user so by default it would be tc at box but we can say like python at linux for instance if i'm going gonna be making like python links then for instance but i can change i can check this later i can change this later so i don't need to get bothered with this just right at the moment so um show apps uh next the resolution so i say vga equals to 795. So 795 is some of some of the standard code for uh 1280 per 700 and 20 probably. So some some more or less normal resolution. However, it's not supported by my laptop. And whatever not supported by your devices would prompt you to select uh the resolution on boot. So for me personally, this this is the preferred way to go. If I don't specify this, VGA would by default be loading in six six hundred and forty by uh, four hundred and eighty, and not clear way how to change this unless you need to, uh, unless you specify the boot code uh, at boot time, which might not be that uh, preferable really. Okay, um, so what else? Uh, home directory VGA. So yeah, we can also force it to be as a super user, but I tried this, I didn't like it, so it just has some uh, unwanted issues. Yeah, uh, I think this this should be fairly enough at the moment. So yes, uh, it also allows to load your data as my data target tar GZ, but I don't have that, so I don't need this. So I just say next. So this should be this should be fairly fairly enough i really hope you know the most interesting thing so let's connect to the app repo repo you know we need to set uh, all those packages that we want our uh, that we want to have on top of tiny core linux so we'll start uh with with wi-fi uh unfortunately this this particular thing doesn't have uh you can search for a package so you need to manually uh look for it and this might not be that very nice thing but uh anyways th this can be automated uh from the command line obviously but for, for the sake of simplicity we'll go like this so i'm looking for wi-fi tcz um and here it is wi-fi tcz and uh i want to load them outside any rz apps and i want to have them on boot uh, there are another options, but I prefer this one in particular because it kind of fit, fit, uh, fits my needs. So outside init rd and on boot add app outside init rd on boot, and I got this being added. Now um, I'm gonna be uh, manually finding all of this, uh, all of these packages, including this Python ones, uh, until I'm done. So. Uh, by default, only Wi-Fi package is not enough. So, uh, by the way, the packages. Uh, so, what this TCZ means? TCZ means. Um, uh, so, this is the squash file system uh, archive snapshots. So, they get connected to the system dynamically uh, when you load them, and they're becoming the part of uh, of your virtual root file system. And this is absolutely unique way to manage packages, and I personally really love it. Um, so if the package has dependencies, it resolves them automatically and it downloads all those dependencies that are needed. And if you load the package that does allow, that does rely on dependencies, then the same thing, you just do 
um, uh, you just do like they they are getting loaded automatically as well. All right, guys. So now I pause the video. I put in uh, all this. Uh, packages I want so I'm gonna be most of first I'll start by putting the firmware drivers so here I have the firmware drivers to make sure that whatever uh, Wi-Fi is available in the hardware would be supported and then I will go through this software things so I just pause the video recording for now and can come back to you in just right in a moment <laughs> 